Greetings, YouTube, and uh, everyone else out there. I'm Robert Zero One, and it's Christmas Day. And the light on my... Uh, I'm filming this whole thing on my, on my phone, and this is actually take one. I'm going to try and do this in just one take and get this thing uploaded today. Anyhow, I have right here next to me an Xbox One. Uh, this Xbox One is not mine. It actually belongs to a friend of mine. Uh, we've got a bunch of guests. There they are. Uh, but anyhow, so we went ahead and rigged this thing up, um, kind of as a, a quick impromptu thing, because his warranty just uh, just ended a couple days ago. And uh, so anyhow, I've been curious about how to actually 12 volt fan mod the Xbox One, because well, let's face it, the Xbox 360 and the Red Ring of Death was an absolute failure on their part. Now they say that the Xbox One is supposed to last 10 years as is. Do I trust them? No. Of course not. Hell no. I, I'm not going to trust them for a very long time when they tell me that something's not going to overheat. They can, you know, they, they, can, they can just go hang themselves out a window. Uh, but anyhow, so here we go. Here's how this works. All right. Back to the good stuff. So... Here's the Xbox One's innards in all its glory. There's your Blu-ray drive, your hard drive, your Wi-Fi card, and your lovely, lovely case fan. Now, this plug that we've got down here is actually the exact same plug that we find inside of the 360 Type S and Type E. Okay, the exact same plug. Now on that one, your three wires going from uh, right to left were your Germany 3, as I like to call them, because they were in the exact same color and orientation as the colors of the German flag. And then you had a fourth wire, which was a blue wire. Okay, And to 12 volt fan mod that system, all you'd do is you'd either disconnect like this, or you would cut a section out of the blue wire, therefore disabling uh, actual regulation of how fast your fan will spin. Okay, Now, disabling the fan's regulator makes it go as fast as it possibly can all the time. The end result on the 360 uh, Type S and Type E is that it will never get hotter than, you know, about 98.6 degrees, which is pretty darn good. That's basically body temperature there. Um, and that also, that's that's pretty amazing for, you know, keeping a system nice and cool. Now on this one, I have not fully dismantled it. I have not replaced any thermal paste or anything like that. We've just disconnected this wire here and the end result, you will see as soon as I get this thing plugged back in. Okie dokie, plug back in. Now then, here we go. On power. There it is. You probably can hear that. That's actually just the system initially powering up and doing a systems check after getting power. Now here's a fun part. This right here is where your activator matrix which is what all these little touch things are here from the front panel. Okay. This is going to activate as soon as I touch right here. Yay, it didn't make a liar out of me. Now go ahead and listen to that fan. That is 100% success right there, and that is the first wire that I disengaged. Um, I'm actually quite proud of myself for uh, figuring this one out on Christmas Day, and I'm going to be uploading this. Um, questions, comments, leave them in the section below. Merry Christmas, everybody, and happy modding.